What's on YouTube? My name is Mayor Van Boy. So today I'm going to do a couple of the phone updates and I a new couple phone from new phone from my collection. So let's get started. You do remember these two right here? These two phone are like phone I already have, but we now I got the update for them. This is a Sony Ericsson W um five ninety five. This is uh, in Chinese imported. And this one and this Sony right here use the same battery, but I can't really use it for reasonable. I will explain later. But basically, what happened? I found out a way to um, um, test this one by using the BL five C battery. And keyboard lights up, as you can see. Then let's see later. They also get light up. Yeah, you can see the LCD light up, but nothing display indicating a, something wrong with the um, flex cable. I have a Nokia that had the same problem, but that thing has all of the button response. So this one just has some response on the button. I was able to make it play some of the music and the screen just glitched. So, my guess is that the LCD this one is busted and all the flexible is broken. Next, we have another phone I got recently, I got um, last month. This is a Nokia 6220. This one, when I first got it, the LCD doesn't seem to work. But after one single tap, it works. So, The battery, this one's pretty iffy on this one. This battery, yeah, this is the only one that works. The other one broke. Oh, maybe not. I have to open, drag this one open. See what went wrong with this display. Okay. It was working. I only test this one. It was working. Okay. There we go. Do it again. I mean, this one's actually a pretty good one. I actually, that thinking actually used to own one of these back then. Interesting. That's strange. Um, this one actually worked. This one actually, I just this battery just horrible to use. Very, I mean, very, very horrible. There we go. And you see it works. I wasn't able to make the infrared work on this one, so can't reach really and any data out of this one, so not that much I can do, but the phone at least it is working. And someone's button to so there we go. Right. So those are updates. Now let's move on to the files. So I found five of these on free market. So these five right here, I mean let's say um these six are six fifty uh, fifty thousand Vina Dong Asian I paid one hundred thirty for this one. So let's start with the worst find. I mean the one that I couldn't really test. This is a BenQ. It's a very cool new BenQ phone. 
focus. This is a BenQ BenQ T51. This is unlocked to all carriers, so there's no branding on this one. He really bought from Queen Mobile, so it's quite weird. Yeah, thank you. The reason why it is the worst find, well, no charger. This charger is very weird. It's similar to the micro USB, but it is much different. If this even focus. There we go. And another reason I can't really test this is because the battery prone pins is use one of those poker ones, so when you plug it into one of these universal charger like I, what I did, let's see if I have one handy. I mean, I was testing this yesterday. But when I plug in using this one, it's probably say that the contact will reverse and I can't really charge it on this side, with this side upside down because the contact doesn't t touch. So that's sad, but. Hey, it's a pretty cool flip phone actually. The LCD, the board LCD is fine, so my guess is this one's gonna work. Now, you might be surprised that I got these for very cheap, but all of these, these six right here, works. And I'm gonna show you with some of the, the worst on the working one. This is a Hanel, Hanel, Hanoi, um, the electronic company, uh, electronic, um, Operation is a government owned company. Model number is well, on top right here. This is a H690 Colorful. This one does not have a battery, so I have, oh, yeah, it, it does, but it was bloated, so I threw it away. Okay, and I have this BL4C laying around. This one takes BL4C, so yeah, this has two dual SIM card and it's a very early, it's an early MediaTek phone, so 2011. The so tray on this one is free in It doesn't really read the card really well. So, well, you can really access the menu on this one. I mean, this is just a basic MTK device. There's not that much thing to note about this one. I mean, I saw a K Touch device. They were, they were sold for twice as much as this one, and it's also a media tech device. It had a QWERTY keyboard too, so that's something. Oh, this one's very hard. This one. This is a Samsung. Let's just show it and turn on. SGHB100. Just about the only problem with this one is on. Well, this one's overheat, so it went a bit too hard on this one. So, yeah, it kind of has some problem with the board where it eat powers. It's a very major problem on some of the Samsung device, some of the phones. I mean, I've never had a Samsung that did. I saw someone Nokia did. It kind of, the battery overheats, so. I'm gonna shut this down and pull the battery out. But still, it's a very, pretty neat little Samsung phone. And there will be a shutdown, there will be a low battery video on this one. Yeah, you can see this battery, it went overheat a lot, so. My guess is that this one has some problem with the power, so yeah, that's a bit no-no for this one. This one's also unlocked too, so it's not that worth looking, but the phone is actually not, not that common. Here is a um, very unique Nokia. This is actually the only Nokia I got in the free bucket. So let's see the model number. And yeah, they, they, this one doesn't have a battery, so I had to pull this battery from another phone. So Nokia twenty one twelve. This is actually an S phone device. So, but there's no S phone device on the board. So there's no not even a Vietnamese option. So, yeah. So many so many people think that this is a flashlight, but it doesn't seem to be one. Speaker is really quiet. Speaker. This one is really quiet. So, I actually had to reset the. Reset the phone because there was a phone number on this one. I don't want to spoil any phone number in. And I look at Zalo and it was belong. It belonged to someone else. So yeah, it's a very basic phone. Let's see what game does this one have. 
Snake 2, Kart Racing, Snake Pack 2, that's it. Not that special, but hey, you can't really complain. Okay, so now on to the more interesting device. So, so I went to one shop and they have a lot of Nokia, but they had a 7610 and the 7610 and the what's it what's it called um, um 6500s and and another 6233, but two of them had a hard bar one and the other one doesn't turn on, so what I'm left with that shop is this one. This is a Sony Ericsson Z610i. This is also unlocked to no carrier, so it came with a battery. This battery fit with that one. There is one. So you might think that I will, why why should why I was like why I wasn't able to turn this one on with that battery? Well the answer is simple. This battery is broken beyond repair. I try plugging it into the, my universal charger and it, Flipping using both sides, it just doesn't do anything. No flat, no red, no red indicator. Usually, when you flip over the contact, when the phone is showing on one side, there was actually a um, flash pain indicating that the contact will reverse. But not in this case, this battery is, is pretty much done for. So, yeah, let's see what model of battery this is. So, I can find another model BSD33. Luckily enough, this is a working device, so I was able to turn on using one of these Nokia battery. Okay, there we go. And yeah, I actually had to pull the SIM card, pull all the SIM card manually. Only the handheld came with the original SIM card, so came with a card that it came with. So this one. there we go. And you can see it works. Sony Ericsson. Uh, it's actually a very basic flip phone for the time, but yeah, it's actually a quite a quite a bit of special Sony Ericsson phone. LCD is a bit sound, some bit damage. This back LCD is broken. It's an AMOLED, so expect them to broke them after years usage. Now the last two phones are going to be something a bit special because these are some import device that somehow made it to Vietnam and I honestly don't know why they made it here. Let's start with the one that I am really interested to see. This is a Panasonic Panasonic P028. This is with NTT Docomo Japan. And I do have a battery for this one. Thankfully, this one works. I don't have to charge it for it, but I was able to turn this one on. Really cool sleeve slider. <laughs> there we go. It's just starting a system after we put the battery in, so it automatically turn on. It had a couple of uh, very cool, um, interesting feature like you have this antenna to receive um, TV channel in Japanese. Uh, okay. Okay. This one's actually really cool, and you can actually uh, go through the internet and the Japanese CDMAs are phones are very really interesting to look at, and it has scroll wheel to navigate through stuff. So. My guess is that this one actually owned a girl, so I was expecting girl content on this one, like free curl or something like that. But no, just a couple of generic stuff, and I decided to put this one in because I don't, I don't know what phone should I put that on. But hey, you can't have anything. Um, see the menu. Yeah, I kind of learned Japanese a bit, but there is a uh, English um description of this one, so non-Japanese reader may um. Non Japanese reader may actually understand, may, may actually be able to use this on when they go to Japan. I'm not sure if this phone like this can be used in Japan before, after all, because this one used an FL MA card. So, I'm not sure if they are going to be usable in when, when we go to travel to Japan. But hey, 
very cool phone in my collection. I only paid 50,000 when I'm done for this one. And this battery doesn't seem to be that good, so I'm going to pull this out and I'll turn it later. And for the next one, now this one, what I actually don't really expect a phone like this to came in Vietnam as well. This is a Samsung Intensity 2 U, um, is this U460 or something? Even though for you, this is the U460, right? Yes. And I paid 100, RG120, but, but it was New Year, so I paid that, paid that um, owner, paid that seller sort of 10,000 Vietnam or more, just to give them some happiness after the holiday. And it, this one is working when I first got it, so let's turn this on. Verizon Wireless. So stuff on Verizon doesn't seem to come to Vietnam that often, so you often see Sprint, you often see AT&T and T-Mobile, but not Verizon. So stuff like this, when they come to the flea market, they are extremely rare. <laughs> I, did, I mean, last time I found a Sprint phone, it was that rare, but hey, can't really complain. It's just a basic Verizon phone, but it's a very cool slider, actually. I actually kind of love the design. At first I thought this one only have some flex cable because this slider ring mechanism is kind of weak in this one. Really cheap one, but... Really cool. So... Yeah, that's going to be all my find for this time. Around I got a lot of good phones and a couple of rare for my collection, so... Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed my video and see you guys on the next video.